Hello students I hope you all are you all are fine so today we will discuss about one more type of the reaction that is the addition reaction okay addition reaction student by name we can tell about the definition addition reactions mean when two or more element when two or more elements when two or more molecules combine with each other and they form a single product then it is known as the addition reaction or student in 10th class you said that is the combination reaction okay here we are saying the addition reactions because we are discussing about the organic chemistry so here also we will discuss about the nucleophilic substitution you have studied electrophilic then so here also we will discuss nucleophilic addition reaction and electrophilic addition reaction clear or not so addition reaction means when two or more elements compound combine with each other and gives us a single product that type of reaction is known as the addition reaction okay so first one is the nucleophilic substitution reaction nucleophilic nucleophilic addition reaction nucleophilic addition reaction means when addition of nucleophile take place when addition of nucleophile take place then reaction is known as the nucleophilic addition reaction like students if we have aldehyde or ketone we can also take if i am having aldehyde okay and students if any nucleophile any nucleophile i am having then what will happen like students if i am having hydrogen cyanide hn hcn hydrogen cyanide and any base means this reaction we will do in basic medium this reaction we will do in basic medium here we are having hydrogen cyanide okay in basic medium we will do like uh, we are having noh koh you can take then students aqueous solution of this we are having in aqueous solution they can decompose into ions and it can give this oh negative then what will happen this oh negative this oh negative will here nitrogen is more negative as compared to carbon and hydrogen okay so it will try to attract electron towards itself it will try to attract electron towards oh, itself yes. it if it will take electron towards itself then positive charge will be attained on this one clear and negative will attain on this one okay so finally student what will happen if i write in this way hcn hcn you know very well na carbon valency 4 so it is forming four bonds nitrogen valency 3 only it is forming three and hydrogen valency 1 it is forming only one bond because nitrogen is more negative as compared to carbon so it will attract electron towards itself if it will attract then positive charge will be there and carbon is more electron negative as compared to hydrogen so it will take electron from this one so finally what will happen finally what will happen it is attracting so negative charge will be here negative will be here and it is losing so positive charge will be there clear or not then student this oh negative will approach this one it will approach this one because here oxygen has lone pair of electron and negative sign also clear if then it will form bond with this h o h it is giving electron to this one 
so this one charge will not be there because already negative charge if it will give then positive charge will be there and positive negative cancel each other and here already positive if it will gain then negative will be there so further charge will be negligible they will cancel clear or not then students this bond will get break from here so we will get water plus cyanide ion plus cyanide ion it is clear or not first of all it is clear or not means this reactions we are proceeding in presence of the basic medium okay why because it help to initiate the reaction it help to initiate the reaction because if we will not take this one then maybe reaction will be there but rate of reaction will be very slow rate of reaction will be very slow so for increasing the rate we take basic medium so this basic medium will help us to identify nucleophile to identify nucleophile so nucleophile will be identified very easily then what will happen what will happen here you know very well this oxygen is more this oxygen is more negative as compared to carbon as compared to carbon, carbon. so it will attract electron towards itself it will attract electron yeah, towards, towards itself. itself when it will but if it will attract then what will happen c r r this pair of electrons shifted towards this one then negative charge will be there negative will be there and it is losing its electron then positive charge will be there clear or not so where where this negative charge will approach this nucleophile will approach on this one because nucleophile nucleus loving so it has negative charge so it will approach on the positively charged species so finally what will happen this cn negative will approach this one clear then we will get here we are we were having h so you can write h okay then c r h now one more this one cn attached to this one o is already attached negative but you know very well you know very well here h positive further it can release further it can give just now so o negative and h positive they can be approaches here they can be approach here so students here what is happening just addition of just addition of nucleophile take place addition of this cyanide is taking place here okay addition of this is taking place here and this one is the nucleophile so this type of reaction is known as the nucleophilic addition reaction nucleophilic addition reaction okay here we are not eliminating water we are not eliminating water because it was just initiating the reaction further it is giving us h positive and we are adding here clear or not so it was just initiated so here we were having this substrate in this substrate addition of addition of cn is taking place addition of cn is taking place and students cn negative is the nucleophile so addition of nucleophile is taking place here that's why this reaction is known as the nucleophilic addition reaction clear or not any doubt in this yes now students you can say ma'am h is also here so we can say electrophile no because first of all you know student always rate of reaction depend on the slowest step rate of reaction will depend on the slowest step, step. so students this step is slow approach it will approach to this one this step is the slow step after that fast it can be attached due to electropropane if you are having propane and if you want to do reaction and if you want to do reaction with hydrogen bromide if you want to do reaction with hydrogen bromide then what will happen student what will happen you know very well you know very well in case of hydrogen and bromine 
Bromine is group number 17 element. Your attention should be here only. You know very well bromine. Bromine is group number 17 element. So its electronegativity is more as compared to hydrogen. Then student, it will attract electron towards itself. Shared pair of electron, it will attract towards itself. Then what will happen? Here generation of electrophile take plus plus Br negative. Clear? Then this H positive needs some electron. It is electron deficient. From where it will take electron? From where it will take electron? You will see. Here students, between this and this carbon, double bond is there. Double bond is there. Then you can see. CH3, CH double bond, CH2. Then this H plus, because it need electron, it has deficiency of electron. Then student, it will try to break this bond. Because it need electron and availability of electron here. Because here pi electrons are available. Here pi bond available and electrons of this are known as pi electron. And here pi electrons are the available. Then students, this can spot. Then what will happen? What will happen? In presence of this, in presence of this, shifting of these electron will take place. Shifting. Because both are the carbons, both are the carbon, this one also and this one also. So shifting may be on this one carbon, may be on this one. If shifting will take place on this one, then what will happen? CH3, CH. Electron of this are shifting here. So negative, negative. And here, this one is losing. So CH2 positive. Now this H positive, where it will attach? Where negative charge? Where negative charge? Then it can be attached here. It can be attached here. And finally, we can get CH3, CH2, CH2 positive. It is clear or not? Yes. Then, second possibility, this one also. We are having CH3, CH double bond, CH2. This bond will not shift here because both are carbon here. Both have same negativity. So they can shift it here also. It may be. This one is also possibility. So students, if it will shift on this one, CS3, CH. Now positive charge will be here and negative, CS2 negative. If negative, then this H positive can attach to this one and we can get this. Now you can see, carbon is having positive charge. So this is carbocation. Yes or not? Yes. Here carbon also having positive charge. This one is also carbocation. What type of carbocation it is? One degree. Carbon is forming only one bond with other carbon. The carbon which is having positive charge on that is making only one bond with other carbon and two bond with hydrogen, then it is primary. Then it is primary. But student, this one, this one, this one carbon having positive charge and it is forming bond with other two carbon, one bond with this one and one bond with this one. So it is secondary, it is secondary. And you know very well about the stability order of the carbocation. Carbocation stability order is 3 to 1. This one is the stability order. Stability order of carbocation. This one is the stability order of carbocation. Yes, students. Now I can say this one will be the major product. According to this, we will get the product and that will be the measures. Because in between, here formation of carbocation take place as an intermediate. Okay. And here primary carbocation is forming and secondary. But secondary is more stable as compared to the primary. Clear or not? That's why we will give preference to this product which will which we will get by 
this one then student here you were taking hbr so h plus and br negative then in first step in first step formation of carbocation take place formation of carbocation carbocation take place this one is the step first formation of carbocation take place and student this one is the slow step this one is the slow step and in slow step what is happening here addition of h positive taking and h positive is electrophile addition of electrophile is taking place that's why it is known as the electrophilic addition reaction electrophilic addition reaction in second step simply what will happen in second step br negative is also in solution so it will attach where positive charge is here so by electrostatic it will ch br ch3 this will be the major product this will be the major product and students this one is the first step this second step is the fast so rate of reaction will not depend on this one rate of reaction will depend on this one that's why it is known as the electrophilic addition reaction clear or not okay so students free radical also there free radical addition also there means addition reaction where addition of atoms molecules addition of elements take place okay then reaction is known as the addition reaction if addition of nucleophile taking place then it is known as nucleophilic okay and if addition of electrophile then it is known as the electrophilic addition reaction okay in last in first step firstly attachment of cn negative was taking place and that was the slow step that was the slow step clear after that h positive can attach and attachment of h positive was the first step that's why it is known as the nucleophilic addition reaction any clear any doubt yes now students you can see how we will see stability in reaction here during possibility we are getting primary secondary also but we will give preference to this one clear one more reaction is the isomerization reaction isomerization reaction what do you mean by isomerism isomerization reaction what do you mean by the isomerism isomerism isomer mean the substances which have same molecular formula but different structure like student if we if i have but two in but two in but mean how many carbons are there four carbons four carbons are there at two position one two in mean double bond okay then i will complete all the valency ch3 one two ch ch ch3 it is yes now student you can see this one carbon this one carbon is forming one bond with hydrogen one bond with this carbon and two bond with this carbon this carbon forming one bond with hydrogen and one with this carbon clear or not i can write open structure of this one in this way clear then students one more i can write in this way also you know these are the isomers these are the isomers here you can see same type of the molecules or atoms are existing on the same space both h positive existing on same space here and here these are also clear but here 
this CS3 and this CS3 in different space. One is upper and second one is lower space. Clear or not? Then this type is known as cis. If same type of atoms, molecules existing in same plane, okay, then they are known as the cis. And if in different, then trans, then trans. You know, students, these are the interconvertible. These are the interconvertible. In presence of the sunlight, they can interconvert. They can be exchanged from one to other. Okay. So, what is the isomerization reaction? When one isomers convert into others during a chemical reaction then that type of reaction is known as the isomerization reaction any doubt in this one more simple reaction here polymerization reaction polymerization reaction you know students ethene Ethene means two carbon ether. Two carbon in. In mean double bond. In mean double bond. So this one carbon forming double bond now two hydrogen here and two hydrogen here. This is the ethene. This one is the ethene. If you have if you have n molecule of this one and molecule of this one then what will happen then what will happen when you are having this one one species you are having this one you will break not these bonds but um, not this one you will break you can break this one also one more possibility here you can make single bond here this one bond you can break na there was the double bond so it is forming one bond with other so here we can make single this double bond will decompose and here also this double bond this double bond so if in this way if in this way n molecules attest n molecules attest then what will happen In this way, because this carbon is forming bond with others, this one is also forming bond with the others. And this one is known as the polyethene. Polyethene. You know students, this one is the monomer unit. This one is the monomer unit. Monomer unit of polyethene. Monomer means structural, basic unit, basic unit. We all use poly bags, polythenes also, clear. So student, this one is the formula for that polythene. Means we have ethene and when N molecules of ethene combined with each other, they are linked with each other, okay. So then they form a macromolecule, okay. And means many molecules we are using. Then it is known as poly. For many we use the word poly. Okay. Ethene. So it is the polyethene. It is the polyethene. Clear or not? Any doubt in this? Yes. So student, if polymerization. Polymerization means when number of monomer unit combine with each other and they give us a macro molecule. Then that type of reaction is known as the polymerization. Okay. So this is enough for all um, for today. Tomorrow we will discuss about the pericyclic some remaining reactions. So thank you. Have a nice day.